The Philadelphia Flower Show partnered us with the uh, Solomon R. Guggenheim Museum in New York City, and we were actually going to do Frank Lloyd Wright. But we okay. got to the museum for this full tour, and the uh, PR director was walking in showing us her favorite room last, and it was Kandinsky. And we walked in and fell in love with Kandinsky. But, you know, he's already the father of abstract art, so how crazy can you get? So what we tried to do was, how can we take his art and turn it into something else and form our own variation of abstraction? So what we decided to do was use this process called anamorphosis. You'll see it very often in that street Anamorphosis? art. Anamorphosis? Yeah, so like, okay. think about street art where like you have this 100-foot painting, but through one very specific viewpoint, it looks like people are going in the ground or coming out of the ground. So what we did is we took a two-dimensional painting, exploded it into a three-dimensional floral art format, but when you stand in one very specific spot, we force the perspective back into a two-dimensional painting. Only, yeah, and you can only ever really see the full painting from one set of footprints that we're putting down on the ground. So it represents okay. three different paintings in his life. Um, one is called Little Accents. Little Accents? Little Accents. Okay. One is called Circles Within a Circle. Okay. And the other one is Dominant Curves. So there are three different periods in his life with three very different art, art, art forms. Um, not only was he a great, he a great painter and the father of abstract art, all of his... Um, Art was based on music and mathematics. Everything is very calculated. So when we designed it, we actually have all a very dimensional aspect. We actually had to build a two-scale diorama to make sure that we had all the measurements down exact so that when you stood in that one spot, everything worked into exact pictures. Wow. So it's kind of cool. And this is the one spot right here, this, this frame? There's three or? vistas that, we have, that we've okay. created. Each of the vistas is going to have a footprint. And you stand in that These footprint. These white curves. That, yeah. Okay. And you stand right in that footprint. And actually, the white curves are actually kind of important because the white curves are our little bit of last minute homage to the Guggenheim because of all the spirals. Of course. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's so inspiring. Yeah, no one else is going to know it but us. <laughs>